well. Hope you've been blessed on a Wednesday. Hope this day would be blessed by Jesus Christ, your evening, wherever you find yourself today. I hope that you be mindful of Jesus Christ throughout your day, throughout your evening, at night, before you hit the bed, before you close your eyes. Make peace with God. Make peace with Him. Let Him know how much you love Him. And let Him not forgive you for the sins of your mind, the sins of your mouth, the sins of your heart. Amen? Because at times we have thoughts that are sinful, and we think just because we don't play them out, or we think we don't say it, or we don't do it, we think that it's okay. We need to repent the sins of the mind, the sins of the mouth, things we say that uh, grieve the Holy Spirit, sins of the heart, the attitudes of our heart, amen? Need to be godly, not ungodly. So I just want to share that with you as a reminder uh, who we are in Christ. I do it all the time. I want to make sure that every everything of me or who I am is right with God, amen? Right with Jesus Christ, amen? I just want to share a moment with you. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. I mean, it, the world's upside down celebrating Halloween. This is the most demonic, satanic rituals, demonic human sacrifices, uh, animal sacrifices, uh, de devotions to the devil, seance, burning, burning, uh, demonic incense, burning uh, witchcraft spells, uh, altars, dedications, altar rebuilding the demonic altars of the dark side throughout the month of October. How these witches and warlocks are so committed, you know. It's sad to say, most of them are more committed than the church itself. Amen. We need to stand up and rise up, amen, and send a fire, God like Elijah did, and burn the altars. We need to burn the altars in the name of Jesus Christ. These are the reasons October is so important to the devils and the devil worshippers in the kingdom of darkness is this is a high seat high they call it the high the high season of October is because they're preparing to finish the year strong. I mean, we've got November and we have December. And this is how they want to finish the year strong. Halloween is a satanic demonic ritual holiday. It's like it is a is a is a actually they believe Halloween is like the Good Friday for the believers, Christians, Resurrection Sunday. This is what they believed. I mean, they go into November 1st, which is the Day of the Dead. We don't celebrate the dead because whether you're alive, whether you're dead, and you're in Christ, you're, you're in heaven. And when you're dead, you're out of Christ. You, someone else, is called hell. Amen? So I just want to I want to shed some light on Halloween, the, the demonic practices, how the church has taken Halloween and made it theirs. I mean, I understand that if I had, if I was a pastor and I do a, a, a church uh, evangelistic uh, play, a production to bring people that day to they could see the, the they can see the consequences outside of the will of God, outside of the relationship with God, I would do a tremendous play production. To, to I mean, we talking about let people know, man, you have to decide tonight who would you serve, and that would be great, you know. But bringing candy bringing costumes and bringing things into the house of God. What what an abomination that you don't see. When I was in Demon Church, when I was in Demon Church for 25 years in Demon Church, we never brought Good Friday into the church. We never brought Resurrection Sunday into the church. We never brought communion, the Lord's Supper, into the demonic church. We didn't even dare touch the holy things of God in the demonic church. How is it that we touch the most bolical, the most demonic, the most despised, the most abomination, things to the devil, and bring it into the house of the Lord. I mean, how shameful is that? Amen? How shameful is that? I'm, it is just mind-boggling that we would do something like that. You don't see any reason on Good Friday. You don't see on Resurrection Sunday. You don't see no demonic devil worshiping, soothsayer, root worker, whatever they call wizard, whatever they want to call themselves these days running into the house of God and say, I can't wait to celebrate Good Friday with the saints of uh, the Jesus Christ followers of believers. Amen? They don't practice those things. How is it that we practice the things of the demonic? How is it that we practice these witchcraft things into the witchcraft world? And and, and, and the satanic attacks that are going against the church in October, it's just, it's just unbelievable. Christians are being tormented. Christians are being... Uh, I mean, we talk about demonic devils in their home, demonic devils shaking their bed, choking them, demonic devils. How do you fight back these things that, that we have opened the door to? How do we fight back and take back the territory about this Halloween crap, this Halloween hogwash that, that, that now today we are celebrating just like the world? How do we take back our church? How do we take back our family? How do you bring your kids and dress them up and take them out to Halloween, trick or treating, trick or treating, candy, and all this other stuff. The devil will give you what you want, and then later on you have to pay the bill. 
amen, with your children. He ain't going to get your children when they're five years old. Or he ain't going to get your, your kids and your daughters and your sons when they're 10 years old. He's going to get them when they're 15, 18, 20, 21, because he knows that's the time it's going to be so painful for the family to see the kids fall into ruins, fall into addictions, fall into sleeping around, because he knows that would destroy the family. The devil knows how to collect the bill in the end of, of, of the opportunity that you had given up. Amen. Let's be smart. Let's be believers. Let's, let's just uh, keep it real with the Lord. Let's just keep it. Man, you need to fight spiritual warfare. I thank God for spiritual warfare. Jesus Christ fought spiritual warfare. Jesus Christ fought the devil in his three-year ministry. He fought him through the Pharisees. Amen. Religious devils. He fought him through Peter. Peter, he told Peter, Satan, get behind me. He fought him to Judas. Amen. When Judas betrayed the devil, said, said the devil entered Judas. And he, Jesus told him in the, in the last supper on the table, go do what you got to do quickly. The, Jesus fought the devil in the wilderness. Amen. When, when Jesus said he fasted for 40 days, night and day, and then the devil came at his weakest moment. Jesus fought the devil by casting out infirmity spirits and all kind of demonic devils, all kind of demonic spirits spirits. He cast them out. He cast them out from the guy that was in the tomb. He cast it out from the blind man. He cast it out for the woman that was bent over for 18 years. He cast out all these infirmity devils and complete and fully. Amen. I mean, God was busy casting out demon from the day he got, he stepped into the scene and and fighting these devils from the day he stepped into the scene. How much more the church of Jesus Christ? We should be fighting the things of doctrine. We should be exposing them, not sleeping with them, not making having a pity party with them, not having a, a, a lunch date with them. We need to fight the good fight, the Paul said. We need to fight the good fight, amen? And I thank God for spiritual warfare. I thank God for books that the Lord has given me the insight to write e-courses to do. Amen. I, I thank God for these things because this is the thing that's going to get me the victory. These are the things that's going to get me to be with Jesus. Amen. Ain't no stronghold, no bondage, ain't no demonic devil who's going to hold back what God has done for me. Because we need to break, destroy, dismantle. We need to curse to the root, shove and die. And starting with Halloween, we need to kill that devil. We need to kill that holiday. We need to get that thing out of the house of God. And the day of the dead, the, the November 1st, we need to give it that. Man, my mom, my brother's dead, my sister's dead. And I thank God there was Jesus. I don't have to do no 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 celebration, no ceremony. I don't have to serve them their favorite food or light up a candle. That don't work. That ain't gonna work. That's just hogwash. Are you entertaining familiar spirit with your demons? I thank you for my brothers and sisters. So let's let's stand straight. Let's stand straight. And so let's sit in one table. Let's sit in one table only. The table of the Lord. The Bible says you can't serve two masters. You either serve one and hate the other, or love one. And hate the other. We're going to love Jesus Christ in the house of the Lord. We're going to love Jesus Christ as vessels of honor. We're going to love Jesus Christ as followers and believers that have been transformed by the finished work of the cross. I love Jesus. I love the cross. I love the blood. I love the baptism. I love the Holy Spirit. I love Father God. I love King Jesus. And that's why I hang my hat. Amen. And I hope you do too. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Stay in the faith. Stay strong in the faith and believe God for his best for your life because he's writing your story and he ain't done with you yet, okay? And I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever you're going through, stronghold, bondages, any demonic attack over your life, your family, your anything, like my eyesight, I break those things in Jesus' name. They have no dominion, no control over you in the name of Jesus. I break every satanic sin. I break every demonic alignment with the devil in the kingdom of darkness in Jesus' name. I break every demonic tormenting devil that's tormenting you either during the night or during the day. I break any demonic devil that's trying to get you fired. I break that COVID-19 devil, that vaccine devil. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. And we command that devil to leave. We've asked the Holy Spirit to breathe upon you today. Oppression, depression, suicide, anything that is plaguing you, anything that is tormenting you. Let the fire of God bring it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Spirit breathe upon you. Fresh air, fresh anointing. And let the Shekinah glory of God rest upon you today. In Jesus' name, I pray these prayers for you. I pray that you, and I also put the thing I forgot to tell you. I put the e-course up there. If you haven't signed up for the e-course, make it part of your arsenal. Make it part of your life. Today and tomorrow, we need to know spiritual warfare. That's the only thing that devil understands with the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. So we can live God's best for you and me. In Jesus' name, amen.